Hey everyone, it's Owen here from Otech, and today I'll be unboxing a processor. This is an AMD X4845 from the Athlon series, as you can see over here. And this is going to be going in a budget build that I'm going to do. So, the reason I chose this, even though the new Pentium G4560 seems to be the popular budget CPU of choice these days, is because this is still pretty... Like it, ha it still has a pretty huge price gap between this and the Pentium, so this is still a better choice for a more budget friendly build and it's still got the performance to kind of use a budget graphics card to power it. So on the side you can see the processor itself and one thing I don't like about AMD processors is that the markings doesn't show the CPU's model number itself, it just shows the overall tree of the family line of the model so yeah that's my only downside of AMD processors uh, housings on the back is just a bunch of information and yeah I've already broken the seal since I've done the Indonesian unboxing first so this is kind of a fake unboxing I've already seen it I'm sorry but that's how it is I can't buy two things for every single thing that I use so here you can see the processor and the user manual, installation instructions, and the cooler itself, which, you know, I'm quite surprised to see that they included the red cooler. I didn't know they gave the red one. So this looks pretty cool. Usually they have the black cooler ones. And, you know, you can feel this heatsink is much heavier than any of Intel's heatsinks. So that's a testament to the stuff that AMD actually provides you. Since you actually get more material for your money with a larger heatsink and I think a larger integrated heat spreader too. So yeah, it's a pretty hefty heatsink. It's a 95 watt part. It's four 95 watt processors and this processor is just a 65 watt one, basically like an i3. So this is what this thing will probably keep it cool and quiet and might even let you overclock. So we'll see about that in my build video to see the performance of this processor and cooler and also the performance of the motherboard that I chose which is a cheap motherboard but let's see how it does so with the cooler you can see that it's pretty thick and it's pretty large it has a red fan on top which like I said is a nice touch it's kinda unique looking and you can definitely tell it's an AMD CPU inside when you see this thing and it'll pretty much be right at home on any red and black or any con any other kind of red build. On the bottom, there's a pre-applied thermal paste, as usual. But yeah, that's about it for this uh, heatsink itself. It has a four-pin power connector, obviously, like any other uh, recent coolers from AMD or Intel, because they have to support four-pin for more efficient fan control. And now for the processor itself. It's not much to it really. In processor is just a square thing with a like a metal top. So here's the sticker, AMD Athlon. And now let's open it up. And you can straight away see that AMD still uses the PGA type method, which I don't really like since you know it makes the CPU vulnerable. So if you have an expensive CPU like AMD's new Ryzen CPUs, it might be a problem where, you know, you might snap off a pin and your expensive CPUs did. But in the other hand, the these pins are actually much less fragile than Intel's LGA pins on the motherboard, so that's a plus. And the IHS itself is actually thicker and larger than Intel's, so you can feel quite a bit of heft on the CPU compared to Intel's CPUs. But yeah, that's basically it for this unboxing. It's not much to a CPU unboxing, to be honest. But I just wanted to show you guys, uh, for anyone that's curious. And also, since because I got this on my hands, so why not? But yeah, that's basically it for this unboxing. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching.